Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for December 10th to the 16th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. And please remember that these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So please check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun represents your soul, your moon represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch for more information. Also, if you like what I'm doing here, if you feel like it was helpful or you like how the new setup is, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below or you can do both. All right, let's jump right in. What's on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th? What's on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What's going on with my Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th? Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th? Libra's Romantic Love Life for December 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see okay that feels good let's put these guys aside for a second here all right so it's going to be for december 10th december 11th december 12th december 13th december 14th december 15th december 16th now Feel free to come back and check this out and like, you know, look at your day to day and let me know in the comments below how it played out in your individual situation. Also, this is going to be for your influence. Okay, so what's causing all this? This is going to be for your love interest. Now, it doesn't have to be the person that you're with. It could just be the person you turn on this video for. This is your advice. Okay, and this is for your outcome here. Okay. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. And of course, we're gonna layer more cards on top of this. So stick with you till the end, let's jump right in. Okay, so we see that there is marriage. Oh wow, so, so some of you guys are dealing with some things pertaining to marriage or marriage is affecting your romantic love life here on the 10th. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. And there is some flirting energy happening here, all right? Or potential for passion. So you got some things going on with the commitment engagement or marriage um and and there's some flirty energy happening here as well okay and for some of you there's a reconciliation happening here with the clover card energy here for others of you luck is on your side things are moving in your favor or there's a sense of risk here because of this potential for passion and this the fact that there is marriage involved this wow okay or there's a commitment here for uh, for taking a risk because of this potential passion or this flirty kind of energy. Okay, all right. All right, and there's choices being made here on this day for this uh, messages of communication or messages of passion or this new path and passion. Okay, all right. All right, so it looks like on the 11th, luck is on your side and things are moving in your favor. There is some headbutting going on here on this day with the two of wands energy, right? The choice needs to be made here. Yeah, and it looks like there's some headbutting going on about this choice. You can see that the two rams are coming together. It's causing a little bit of chaos there. That's what it looks like because someone's not being honest about this choice. So there's a sense of a risk, a sense of luck sense of all right, a reconciliation and someone's not being completely honest about this situation so on the 12th there's a sense of all right you're gaining your courage your strength and your confidence there but there is stress around this or you're trying to gain the courage and and, and uh, confidence but there is a lot of stress and anxiety around this with the nine of swords energy it's like a lot of things are coming at you that's what i feel like 
okay and it's because of movement change or travel with the ship card energy so it's trying to move you're trying to move away from this this uh the sense of somebody being deceptive here or there is a sense of movement around this or there's this foreign element going on that possibly someone's not being completely honest about or there's a sense of travel here which is causing some stress or some movement or change because the ship card can just be saying okay yes it can be talking about some travel or it could be talking about a foreign element but a lot of times it's talking just about movement or change so movement away from the situation and trying to gain that strength and that courage even though there's a lot of stress around the situation on the 12th okay so on the 13th it looks like you guys are going to have a sense or a gift of abundance so what what do i mean by abundance well it's, it's going to feel like it's it's a lot of good things happening right and judgment is a reconciliation for some of you a healing all right it could be an internal healing for some of you and others of you it could be a reconciliation with somebody that you've been dealing with or somebody that you've dealt with in the past it looks like the judgment card is coming out a lot this week too with a lot of signs and it's because of a message so you're getting a message of this so and oh, by the way the gift of abundance could actually be a gift of something right because we're seeing the letter and it could be coming in the mail too because it looks like it was mailed there all right so and this this is bringing some kind of reconciliation some kind of healing for you on this day for some of you and um there could be a written message here this could be uh, any form of message it could be from you know a postal message it could be a text message it could be a facebook message but obviously there's something that's coming in for you that's really good and it's going to give you a sense of healing and recovery here with the judgment card energy now for some of you it could be a gesture that somebody's making because they want to reconcile with you okay um but obviously there is some kind of message letter document happening here with the letter card energy okay and if we look at the numbers of this we see the two plus seven is eight nine okay someone wants to fulfill their wishes there and above that is because of some challenges around a choice about working together or building a foundation three card energy okay okay wow okay so we see there's family going on here something to do with family on the 14th and some truth are being spoken about it. So some truths are being spoken here with the Queen of Swords energy about stability and stableness. So I feel like for some of you, you're gonna hear some truth from this person about the fact that they wanna start a family, they want a long-term commitment, they really wanna stick around for a while with that anchor card energy. And I am definitely seeing for some of you, this has some, but something to do with a reconciliation with somebody because we see the Clover card energy, then we see the Judgment card energy, okay. But that's for some of you. For some others of you, it's a sense of a risk. And uh, possibly somebody you're already married to or somebody you're already with and or somebody you're already committed to. And there were some issues there. There was some headbutting that went on. And there were some challenges around that. And now it seems like it's moving into uh, a healing energy. Yeah, new beginnings, fresh start on the 15th. And there's a lot of waiting around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Interesting. You know, really what also stands out for me in this card again for some of you is a start of a family because I see a person with a baby there, okay, with this New Beginnings card. And possibly when this truth is talking about is like, oh, we're going to start a family. Do you want to start a family? There's something stable here. And then we see that there is this, this seed that's been planted here and it's like waiting around. And then you see this new beginnings card. It's like a person with a baby there. That's interesting. And there's love here with the heart card energy, a sense of love. So stability and stableness and love going on here. So yes, it did come out a little rocky in the beginning of the week there. And maybe there were some issues because there was somebody who was flirting with someone else there and which caused some head bunning that happened. Maybe someone wasn't completely honest about it or maybe somebody thought that's what was going on there. But we see now going on later in the week, it looks really good. All right, yeah, there's a health card energy. It's healing, it's recovery here going on. 
there's a new perspective about things with the Page of Swords energy and we see the person card coming out. So we see that there's stability and stableness and love for this person. There's this letter of reconciliation, luck, a sense of risk, someone wasn't being honest about some kind of movement or travel or change, which caused a lot of stress here. But it looks like, it, yes, and you want to be people days here because it does look a little bit challenging, but it does look like the week will end out very well for you. So let's see what the influence is. <laughs> yes, the influence for some of you. Reconciliation. What did I say is the theme this week? <laughs> So either of these, this is an ex or it's somebody you've already been dealing with, okay? That you're going to have a healing and recovery with. <laughs> the lover's card energy. And what, and what do you see in that card? We see multiple choices and what is happening at the beginning of the week. Some flirty energy there. Some passionate energy there, okay? Uh, choices that have to be made with the heart. A twin flame soulmate connection. And an abrupt decision. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> that's definitely what's going on. It's very clear cut actually for you guys. All right, so this is your love interest. The one here for the one you want to know about it doesn't have to be a person that you're with. They have a sense that there's a spiritual connection here, okay? And they want to have family and long-term commitment with you with the Ten of Pentacles energy. They definitely have a, um, they definitely want to be around for a while with you. Yeah. And we see there's a dog in that card. For me, dogs represent loyalty and friendliness. Yeah, they're all they're definitely looking at you as a long-term situation. Let's go with the dog. <laughs> Even before I looked at it, the dog card energy there. Loyalty and friendliness. So they want to be loyal to you. They want the long-term with you. And they have a sense that there's a spiritual connection between you and them. What's your advice? Be wise in your decision-making with the wisdom card. There is a sense of abundance here with the Empress card energy or be nurturing, caring. And we have the, the people card. Well, this is like the garden card energy. So this can be going out, it could be socializing, it could be looking at your choices, your options. It could be leaning on friends and family for support here to make wise choices and wise decisions when it comes to love and abundance. Also, the Empress is the mother of the major arcana. It could be something to do with nurturing, caring, abundant kind of energy. All right, so let's see how this all rounds out here. So there's some big changes happening here with the transformation card, which have caused some challenges here. So some things have changed, some things have transformed, which caused some challenges this week. Because, like I said, this opportunity of passion, that page of wands came out, it, it was on the 10th. So there was a, there's this potential for passion here, Ace of Wands energy. And there was like, all right, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it because it looks like there's some kind of commitment going on there. But the world card shows me there's a sense of accomplishment and a sense of completion. So, yes, it's a sense of accomplishment and a sense of completion here. Yes, but there is an opportunity of passion coming in here for you. Okay, and you see that here at the beginning of the week. Um, and But there were some challenges around that because like somebody's like, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it. So there was some kind of opportunity of passion coming in and somebody's like, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it. But it all works out because there's a sense of accomplishment and a sense of completion with the world card energy. We can go further here. Commitment, engagement, or marriage. And someone who has been like analyzing uh, the whole situation of like, all right, wow, am I going in the right direction there with the, with the, uh, the maze card, right? So it's like, I'm going around in circles. Am I gonna find a solution here? Am I going in the right direction when it comes to this commitment, engagement, or marriage because of this opportunity of passion, or renewed passion, Ace of Wands energy? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like it this new way, hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below as well as um, if you would like to know more information because obviously this is only the weekly. You guys can check out your monthlies and get more information about what's going to happen for the rest of the month here for December as well as the 2021 reading is up so you can check that out right now and in the next couple days I'll be releasing the bi-weekly so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. Thank you to all my members and I'll see you guys in another day or two.